We've all heard it said before, oil is cheap and engines are expensive. But the real question is, is Pennzoil's cheap oil just as good as their expensive oil? Let's find out. Is it possible that all these motor oils are the exact same? After all, they probably came from the same factory. In the first test, we'll see which oil flows the best when it's extremely cold. Then we'll see which oil offers the best protection against engine wear. We'll compare the oils to see which is best at resisting thermal breakdown and evaporation. Then we'll look at an oil lab test report for each of the oils to see how they compare. Fuel contaminated oil is very common in modern vehicles, so we'll see how the best oil in the lineup performs when it becomes contaminated with fuel. This is the first time I've tested Pennzoil's API SP motor oil. In the past, I've tested their SN and SN Plus motor oil. Let's send off the oil to an oil testing lab. The oil lab report will provide us a lot of great information on the oil's anti-wear additive package, detergent and dispersant content, as well as the oil's total base number. I always shake oil containers before sending off oil samples for testing since part of the additive package may actually fall out of suspension and settle at the bottom of the container. Synthetic oil typically has better flow characteristics compared to conventional oil when it's really cold so that moving parts begin getting lubricated sooner. I'll go ahead and place the oil in a freezer that's set to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll leave the oil in the freezer for 24 hours. At a price of only $17 for five quarts, the least expensive oil we'll be testing in the lineup is just the regular Penn's oil. All the motor oils we'll be testing are SAE 5W30. I was hoping to find a Penn's oil conventional motor oil, but all I could find is a synthetic blend. Meter exceeds the requirements for ILSAC GF6A, API SP, and all previous categories. Looks like this oil came out of Texas. The Penn's oil platinum is on the left and the ultra platinum is on the right. Both of them are made of natural gas, so the question is, are they the same, and is the Ultra Platinum worth the extra money? The Platinum has a DEXO certification, and actually the more expensive Ultra Platinum does not. This one too comes out of Houston, Texas. It also has an API rating of SP. In the first test, let's compare the regular Pennzoil against the Ultra Platinum, so the least expensive against the most expensive to see if they perform about the same. Motor oil definitely needs to be able to handle high engine temperature. I'll first measure out 200 grams of oil in each of the oil containers, and then we'll crank up the heat to around 365 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I'll rotate the oil containers every 10 minutes just in case one of the burners is hotter than the other. And there seems to be more oil vapors coming out of the synthetic blend compared to the Ultra Platinum. The test for this is the NOAC volatility test, which is an ASTM test, which exposes oil to a lot more heat than this test to simulate engine operating conditions around the upper piston ring area of an engine. High quality oils resist evaporation and thermal breakdown. So at the end of this test, we'll find out how much evaporation occurred with each of the oils. And the regular synthetic oil container started out weighing 394.61 grams and now it weighs 387.09, which is a loss of 7.52 grams. The Pennzoil Ultra Platinum oil container started out weighing 411 grams, and now it weighs 406, a loss of 5 grams. So the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum performed a lot better than the synthetic blend at 33.5% less evaporation. Let's test the lubricity or the film strength of the regular Pennzoil against the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum next. We'll begin by adding 40 milliliters of oil that's been exposed to heat into the test cups. To avoid a dry startup, I'll coat the test wheel as well as the test pins with motor oil. Once the test is finished, we'll compare the size of the wear scars on each of the bearings to determine which oil provides the best film strength. This test doesn't simulate engine operating conditions perfectly, but it'll provide us with some great information. Between each test, I use brake parts cleaner to clean the test equipment, and then I use sandpaper to resurface the test wheel. There definitely seems to be less friction with the Pennzoil Ultra. The watt meter is showing less energy usage, and the number is dropping quickly. And the test is finished, so let's compare the size of the wear scars for each of the oils. The test pin for the synthetic blend is on the left, and the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum is on the right. I use the microscope with my calipers to get an accurate measurement. And the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum has a 7% smaller wear scar compared to the synthetic blend. So the Penzoil Ultra Platinum provides much better wear protection compared to the synthetic blend. Before we compare the full synthetic against the Platinum, let's see how the oils flow at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The oils are arranged from least expensive prices on the left to the most expensive on the right. And the most expensive oil, the Penzoil Ultra Platinum, is on the right, and it's the first one out of the gate. And the synthetic blend and full synthetic is just behind the Ultra Platinum. And the Platinum is in lane 3 in a very distant fourth place. And the Ultra Platinum seems unfazed by the extreme cold and is flowing very quickly. And the Synthetic Blend and the Full Synthetic are way out in front of the Pennzoil Platinum. And it's the Ultra Platinum for the win. And the Synthetic Blend and the Full Synthetic are tied for second. And the Platinum finally crosses the finish line in the distant fourth. What a race. At a price of $20 for five quarts, or just $3 more than the regular Pennzoil, is this Full Synthetic. 40% better performance than conventional motor oil. The Full Synthetic has the same API designation of SP. Just like the regular Pennzoil, the Full Synthetic comes out of Houston, Texas. 
Texas. At a price of $24 or $4 more than the full synthetic is this Penzoil Platinum. It has a very unique technology in that it's made from natural gas, not crude. The regular and the full synthetic Penzoil do not have the DEXA certification the Penzoil Platinum does. Compared to the full synthetic, it gives itself one extra star for protection in extreme temperatures, better fuel economy, protects horsepower, and cleaner pistons. The Penzoil Platinum also comes out of Houston, Texas. Let's compare the evaporative loss of the full synthetic against the Platinum. And the full synthetic seems to be putting off a little bit more vapor compared to the Platinum, but it looks very close. And the oil was rotated every 10 minutes for two hours, and the two hours is finally up. With 200 grams of oil in the container, the full synthetic started out at 429.83 grams. It now weighs 423.33, a loss of 6.5 grams. Penzoil Platinum started out at 404.79 and now weighs 399.51, a loss of 5.28 grams. Before we test the film strength of the synthetic against the Platinum, let's first place the cooked oil inside the freezer. Let's go ahead and compare the film strength of the full synthetic against the Platinum beginning with the full synthetic. And the watt meter seems very close to the same as the synthetic blend at 540 watts. If there's a lot of wear that's taking place, sometimes I can hear the difference, but this time the amount of sound seems to be about the same. The last oil to test for wear resistance is Penzoil Platinum. And the Penzoil Platinum seems to be performing about the same as the full synthetic, around 540 watts to start the test. However, it does seem to be drawing more energy compared to the Penzoil Ultra Platinum. Time is up, so let's take a closer look at each of the test pins under a microscope. And the size of the wear scars are almost the same at 7.34 millimeters for the full synthetic and 7.33 for the Platinum. Oil is relatively cheap and engines are expensive, but the oil that has the best wear resistance is the Ultra Platinum. It came out with the smallest wear scar of 7.1 millimeters. Full synthetic and platinum were practically tied at 7.33 and 7.34 respectively, and the synthetic blend 7.57 millimeters. For evaporative loss, the Ultra Platinum barely edged out the platinum at 5 grams of evaporation compared to 5.28. Not surprisingly, the full synthetic did better than the synthetic blend at 6.5 grams of evaporation compared to 7.52 for the synthetic blend. Let's see how the heat exposure impacted the cold oil flow speed of the oil. Once again, the Penzoil Ultra Platinum in lane 4 is out of the gate first, and the Synthetic Blend and Fully Synthetic are in second. And Penzoil Platinum in lane 3 is finally on the go. And the Ultra Platinum has a huge lead over the other three oils. And Penzoil Platinum is in fourth place, but it's catching up with the Synthetic Blend and the Full Synthetic. And the Ultra Platinum in lane 4 is first to cross the finish line. And the other three oils just crossed the finish line at nearly the same time. So three of the four brands performed almost the same, but the Penzoil Ultra Platinum is consistent consistently the best. If you want to see the original oil analysis results, I'll leave a link in the video description to all four reports. All of the new motor oils had one or two parts per million of aluminum and the same for iron, which is pretty typical and nothing to worry about. There's no other harmful metals inside the new oils. Barium, boron, calcium, and magnesium are detergents and dispersants. If you add up the totals for each type of detergent and dispersant, the synthetic blend has 1,608 parts per million total. The full synthetic has quite a bit more at 1,893 parts per million. I'm pretty surprised that the platinum only has 1,278, which is the least amount in the lineup. The ultra platinum has by far the most at 2,300. Anti-wear additives are incredibly important for engine life and performance, and the synthetic blend has a total of 1,393 parts per million. Full synthetic has more at 1,521 parts per million. Once again, platinum has the least amount in the lineup at 1,206, and the ultra platinum has the most in the lineup at 1,605. All the motor oils were within the normal range for viscosity. However, the Penzoil Ultra Platinum has the highest viscosity at 210 degrees Fahrenheit, and it flowed the fastest at minus 40, so it's a very well-designed oil. The total base number is the oil's ability to neutralize acids. And the Penzoil Ultra Platinum has the best TBN of 7.4. Penzoil Synthetic finished in second at 6.6, .6, Synthetic Blend 5.8, and Platinum 5.2. Turbocharged engines or engines with gasoline direct injection oftentimes have fuel contaminated oil, especially during an extended oil change interval of 10,000 miles or more. So let's take the best oil in the lineup, the Penzoil Ultra Platinum, and contaminate it with 5% gasoline. Let's see how it performs on the lubricity tester. Wow, that's not a good sound. And the gasoline contaminated oil really thinned out near the end of the test as the oil heated up quite a bit. The test pin on the left is from the gasoline contaminated oil. And the test pin with the contaminated Penzoil Ultra Platinum has the most damage yet at 7.7 millimeters. So the clean synthetic blend actually performed better than the expensive contaminated Ultra Platinum oil. When head gasket failure occurs, oftentimes the engine becomes contaminated with antifreeze. Let's contaminate some oil with antifreeze. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've seen oil look like this before and it can cause a lot of damage if it's not caught quickly. The antifreeze in oil can turn into a goo that fails to properly lubricate an engine. 
At some point, the oil pump may even struggle to pick up the goo-like substance, preventing the engine from getting lubrication or cooling. The Penso Ultra Platinum is a very good oil and easily won this showdown with an average finish of first place. The full synthetic actually has a better additive package and better cold temperature performance compared to the Platinum. However, the Platinum performed better than the full synthetic when it comes to evaporative loss. One of the most important takeaways for me is that keeping healthy oil in the crankcase is extremely important. Fuel as well as antifreeze contamination can cause a lot of damage. Penzo Ultra Platinum remains a very good oil. As some of you recall, a couple years ago we had an oil showdown and it came out in second place only getting beat by the AMS Oil Signature Series. If you have a turbocharged engine or one that has gasoline direct injection, I'm definitely not a fan of extended oil changes. Unfortunately, the oil becomes contaminated with fuel pretty often in that type of engine, and it can also cause a lot of wear on the engine. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and look forward to next time.